This is section 3.3 on differentiation rules. The first rule we have is probably the greatest rule of all time. It's called the power rule for any real number n. The derivative of x to the n equals, you multiply the front by n and then you reduce the power by 1. For example, let's take a simple one. If we have y equals uh, 3x to the fifth. To take the derivative of 3x to the fifth, we just multiply 5 times 3. So y prime, the derivative, would be 15, and then we reduce this power by 1. So 15x to the fourth, and that's all there is to it uh, when we have a power. We have an example here. We have x to the fifth minus 3x to the fourth plus 5x. We're going to take the derivative of this. So we have 5x to the fourth. We reduce that power by 1. Minus 12x to the third. We take 4 times 3, get 12. Reduce that power by 1. And then there is a power of 1 sitting here, so 1 times 5 is 5, and that's all there is to it. The constant rule. The derivative of any constant is 0. So, for example, we have x uh, to the 0. So, like having 3x to the 0 is the same as just having 3. Well, if we take the derivative of, let's say we had 3x to the 0. That's like having a constant 3. 0 times 3 is 0, and then we don't reduce this by 1. Well, we can. We do reduce it by 1, but 0 times anything is going to be 0. So the, the rule here is the derivative of any constant is 0. So if you have y equals 5, that derivative, y prime, is 0. Now think about how we would graph this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. y equals 5 is a horizontal line, and the slope of that line is 0. A constant multiple. If we take the derivative of c times x, for example, we have y equals 5x. There's really a 1 sitting up there. 1 times 5 is 5. We reduce that power by 1, and we get 5x to the 0. But we don't write 5x to the 0. We write just 5. So if we have something like y equals 3x, the derivative is 3. So this right here, this would be y prime. The sum and difference rule, if you have the derivative of two functions added, you just take the derivative of each of the functions. For example, if we have y equals uh, 3x plus 2z to the fourth, y prime would just be 3 plus 8z to the third. Take 4 times 2, get 8, reduce that power by 1. Here's an example, another one. If the function is x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 2, the derivative would be 4x to the third minus 4x, and then that's it because the derivative of this constant would be 0. In this one, we start out by writing the function as y equals 2x to the negative 2. It's much easier in this case to work with negative powers uh, to, to solve this. So the derivative would be negative 4x to the negative third. We multiply the power by the front, by the coefficient, and then reduce this power by 1, which makes it a negative 3. And of course, we wouldn't leave it like that. We'd have negative 4 over x to the third. And the next one, we wouldn't leave it as the square root of x to take the derivative. We would write it as x to the 1 half power, and then take the derivative. So y prime would be 1 half x and I minus 1 from this. In other words, we minus 2 halves. So we'd have x to the negative 1 half, which is equal to 1 over 2 x to the 1 half. That negative power would go down to the denominator. And then we have 1 over 2 squared of x as a final answer. Here we have some notation. d2y over dx2 is the second derivative. d3y over dx3, that would be the third derivative and so on. Here we have the product rule. Given two differentiable functions, u and v, the derivative of u times v is the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. For example, if we had two of these, these two functions right here, well, one function, but two kind of separate functions multiplied together, the derivative is the first times the derivative of the second so this is the, I'm calling this one the first, this one the second. We go first times derivative of second plus the second 
times the derivative of the first. And then we could clean this up. This would be 3x to the fourth plus 9x squared plus 2x to the fourth plus 2x, which is equal to 5x to the fourth plus 9x squared plus 2x. That's the product rule. If we let y equal u times v, then the derivative is first times derivative of second plus second times derivative of the first. If they tell us that u of 4 is 4, v of 4 is 1, u's derivative at 4 is negative 3, and v's derivative at 4 is 2, we should be able to find y prime at 4. So u is a value of 4, v prime is a value of 2, v is 1, and u prime is a value of negative 3. So this would be 8 minus 3, that would be 5. The quotient rule. To find the derivative of two functions divided, it's bottom times derivative of top minus top times derivative of bottom over the bottom squared. If we want to find the derivative of this function right here, f prime of x will equal bottom times derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, and that's all over the bottom squared. Now we can clean this up. We have 2x to the third minus 4x minus 2x to the third uh, minus 6x, because that'll be a minus distributed through. And that's all over the bottom squared. And we usually don't multiply out the denominator. And I'm kind of running out of room here. So we have 2x to the third minus 2x to the third. That's gone. Negative 4x minus 6x is negative 10x. And that's all over x squared minus 2 squared. The, cro the quotient rule is not needed for this problem. It's not necessary because we can use common denominator on a very simple denominator. We can change the function to look like this. Then y prime now, well, let's, let's uh, reduce this. So now y equals x squared plus 5 minus 7x to the negative 1. We can bring that x to the top but with a negative power. Now y prime equals 2x um, plus 0 and then plus 7x to the negative 2. So finally we have 2x plus 7 over x squared.